Just kind of looking back at your lessons learned in, in the veterinary career, what would be a couple of key items that you would like young veterinarians to be thinking about as, as they start their careers? Oh, you're, you're tackling my uh, age at Young World. But Sorry, Joe. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, I think early on, I probably made it a little bit too difficult. So one of the things I've learned is that it is about uh, listening or observing what the pigs themselves are doing. Uh, it's about asking questions so that you know what really the objective is when you're in that barn. And it is about being in the barn um, and putting together the information that you have. I would tell uh, veterinarian, young veterinarians that, you know, keep it simple because if we think about what action we want within the barn, the caregiver of the pig really needs to have it straightforward because you're going to have to carry the action out to get the result that an individual wants. Many times as a as a young veterinarian, I'm sure I gave them way too many options, feeling that that was giving them the broad spectrum, allowing them to understand how decisions were made but later recognizing that that only confuses the issue because they're the ones that have to uh, execute the final actions. So it's important also to know who is the uh, action person versus who within the company needs the broader base of uh, reasoning or uh, objectives. The uh, I would all, the next thing I would say is that it's always helpful to focus on some metric. And so that helps focus the objective. It could be as simple as the cough index, the scour index. Um, but ultimately, it is the cost and a value matrix. And so focusing on that then helps uh, sharpen the decision-making process. Clearly, we continue to develop on how to grab that data and how to put it into a value matrix. At the same time, we need to get that out to the pig always um, so that there's actionable items. 